the best of the week on Relevant Radio. Let's go to Patrick in Trenton, New Jersey. I just have a question regarding uh, graces. What is the difference between sanctifying graces and just regular grace? Now, could you receive sanctifying graces by reading the Bible, let's say? Well, let's break it down. First of all, sanctifying grace is, the Church would describe it in terms like this, that it's the very life of God himself that is communicated to our souls. And the par excellence way of God communicating his grace to your soul is through the sacraments. So it's not the only way, but it's the primary way. So when you receive Holy Communion worthily, when you go to confession or receive any of the sacraments, it either introduces, or if you're in the state of mortal sin, it reintroduces sanctifying grace or it intensifies. St. Paul uses the, the term that the love of God is poured out into our hearts. He uses an analogy of liquid. It's not liquid. It's not like there's a certain volume there per se, but it can be intensified and strengthened, and if you want to think of it as expanded, it can have that same effect. Now, another kind of grace, and this might be where you're wondering about the two, another kind of grace is called actual grace. Now, actual graces come to you in the form of maybe, like you said, reading the Holy Bible, praying the rosary, uh, making the sign of the cross, genuflecting in front of the tabernacle, blessing yourself with holy water. These are sacramentals, not sacraments. But when you use sacramentals or, or you receive a blessing from a priest, that too is a sacramental. It's not a sacrament. These kinds of graces are external to you. They're sometimes called actual graces or signal graces is another term. And what they do is they help to dispose your mind, well, more, more specifically, your soul, but through your mind, it helps to dispose you to be more receptive to sanctifying grace. So they have a contributing effect, but they themselves are not sanctifying grace. Think of it this way. Sanctifying grace is in you. It's in your soul. It's what the Lord is doing in your soul. Actual graces are graces that God sends you as prompts or helps or reminders or nudges or you know, little movements of grace that will help you be more disposed to receive sanctifying grace. So that'd probably be the most basic distinction between those two kinds of grace. And if you think of it that way, then you realize that when you do receive from the sacraments, as an example, an intensification of sanctifying grace, maybe it is that many of these other actual graces were helping you get to that point. So take, for example... You know, maybe when you were praying the rosary, you had a deep desire well up inside you to go to confession. And it's not that you necessarily had any mortal sins, but you just had a a deep desire to be closer to the Lord. The actual grace from praying the rosary was nudging you to go receive sanctifying grace in the sacrament. Does that clarify it a bit better? Yes, thank you so much. It does. You're welcome. Yeah, this is a topic that we could never fully exhaust. Grace ultimately is God's gracious favor to us. It's his, his love for us, and he communicates that love in various ways. Like what you just heard? Share it with your family and friends. And thanks for listening.